Hello Ratbags, it's Jade. Welcome to an Atlas update video. It's suffice to say Atlas did launch a little bit more bumpy than some of you anticipated. Although really, if you've been keeping up with development of this game, it should have been no surprise. But that said, there are some good things that have been happening with Atlas and they've been trying to get updates pushed out to really fix a lot of the issues most of you've been having since buying the game on the Xbox. So one of the biggest issues was low FPS, which I have to say I didn't experience when I played it. And it looks like the main issue with that was when you was in a party with other players. So an update has just gone live this morning, about 6 GB on the Xbox that should fix all of them issues. So we're going to go through that and I'm going to also talk in general the perception of Atlas and where it's going to really go from here now. Is it a game that's improving? And big news that I've got my server up and running. So if you want to come and join my Atlas server, you can do. So let's go through the patch notes first. The two biggest ones from this lot are, of course, there's Xbox specific crashes. If you're in a party now, you should be able to join. The way round it was that you start the game first, then you get into a party when you're in the game. That caused a lot of the problems to go away. And the other one was that people couldn't join non-dedicated servers. That again was related to parties. So that's supposedly been fixed now. We'll have to see how that pans out. They have added some extra options for the gamepad or fixed some things. On the captain's wheel, X shall toggle gun ports, no longer RB. And on the captain's wheel, if RB or LB are held, X shall not toggle gun ports. On the captain's wheel, add lower raise anchor to view action wheel so that captains can use the anchor. This has been something pretty, pretty rubbish really. You couldn't actually just drop your anchor while carry piloting your ship. So now that's fixed, that's gonna make it a lot easier. When claiming a wild pirate camp, the flag will show the company flag painting. Painting a wild pirate camp flag will set the company flag painting. Fixed an issue when searching for remote inventory text and the hydra hide glove icon fix. So usual sort of stuff you'd expect. Another big one that lots of people were having was level limit no longer applies in free ports on non-dedicated session modes. There was this XP glitch that basically people weren't getting any XP. So that happened yesterday and it has gone through. It's live now. You will now gain XP. You had to leave the free port to get it. So you've been having problems with it. You should be able to now start getting more XP being at a free port. Although do remember it's capped out at level eight. So all in all, since it's come out on Xbox, they've had two or three updates already. And that's pretty much the same sort of thing they did on PC. In fact, PC were having updates every day. And what I can tell is that they're really trying to make sure the game is running as well as they can be for the moment. It doesn't excuse maybe some of these things not being tested enough before it came to Xbox, but that leads me on to the next big point. We've kind of forgotten what Xbox game preview really means or what early access means. And this is gonna take more of a bigger video really to explain. But as years have gone on, we've seen more and more games come out on early access. Some have been successful, most have not been successful. And the general feeling is now that AAA games also just release any old crap and say they're gonna have a roadmap to fix it all and make it better in the next year. You think of Anthem, Fallout 76, all these games that really launched and had no business launching in the state they were. That trickles down to early access. People get the hump, they get really fed up with games, they don't want to be playing these buggy games anymore, and so they expect all games to be working perfectly, no matter if they're in game preview or early access. Now that can be a bit of a fair comment, but I do think a lot of the criticism I'm seeing in comments and other YouTubers' videos really doesn't grasp the fact that the game is preview. It is a work in progress. There are going to be huge changes. There are going to be huge things that happen. So I have got no problem with there being bugs and problems and issues and even game breaking issues. What I really expect from a game preview program game is to launch, to not crash consistently. You know, a crash now and then is expected and to be able to use and function with the controller. There have been games in the past like Pixark, also a snail games game, where literally the controls just weren't mapped out accordingly or properly, so it wasn't functional when it first came out on the Xbox. That's the kind of thing I don't think is acceptable. It's crazy how many reviews you see that say don't buy until they fix issues. What do you expect? For sure, some people really can't stand by certain things. As I said, my limit is making sure the game at least works with a control pad, and not having crashes like every two seconds. For some, it is the unplayable frame rate, etc. But just so many people are so quick to shit on something without really giving it a try, or the understanding that it is a game preview game. It's going to have improvements, it's going to have work put into it. 
Now, before everyone starts calling me some sort of shill for a grape shot or a snail or wild card, apart from all the meme videos you guys have seen, I've been one of Atlas's biggest critics. My no one is playing video got 68,000 views. I try and be balanced in how I cover games. If they're doing something good, I'll keep up with it. And even bad games that are generally considered bad. But when I see game developers trying, I always try and offer something a bit fairer. At the moment, I'm not very happy with DayZ and Bohemia because all I see is a bit of a cash grab. And that same criticism is being leveled at Grape Shot Wildcard with Atlas. Again, I would say no because it's not fully released. So you're still paying a discounted price for a game and it's still very much in its early days. It isn't something that's been out for years and years and then released in a shit buggy state just like DayZ was. Sure, there are other games, obviously like Ark Survival Evolved that have had big problems and still have huge problems that I'm really upset about still. A game that's been out, out of early access for two, nearly three years now. Yet we're still dealing with duping issues, still dealing with mesh problems. And for sure, them same issues are going to be in Atlas. But I'd still argue that it's still not enough to really just go shitting on the game, especially if you haven't really tried it that much. And that's something I've seen a lot of YouTubers do in the last few days. Hate bait is king. Some of them haven't even played the game. They've only played it on PC, yet they're qualified to start doing reviews and talking about how the game's going to play on the Xbox. With literally their taglines being, they've read the reviews. Well, I've read the reviews too. I'm showing the bad, but I can also talk about the good. Because I've actually played the fucking game. Atlas is what I expected it to be. It doesn't run perfectly, but it runs well enough for me that I can enjoy it. It's running well enough that I'm going to be setting up my own server and I'm excited about where they can go and take this game. Will I be disappointed in the future if they don't fix certain things? Yes. Am I going to get really upset when the game launches and they've still got day one problems that they've never fixed? Absolutely. But am I going to get enjoyment out of this game for the next nine months, a year? For sure. And it's the same with Ark. I can be really critical of Ark Survival Evolved. But there's no doubt about it, I've had some amazing times with Ark. It's done so much for me as a game. That's why I'm always drawn to it. And the community we've built up playing Ark and the people that are in my Discord and people that support my channel, they're important to me and they're the people that I want to play with and carry on doing stuff with in the future. And so when they're really excited about the next DLC that's coming for Ark, that makes me more excited and I'm more inclined to do content on it. So yeah, before it gets on to too much of a talk about my channel, Atlas is getting updates. They're getting lots of updates and they seem to be fixing a lot of the Xbox specific issues. This game is not going to be perfect, there's going to be a bumpy road ahead. If you like and enjoy Ark Survival Evolved, if you like PvP, absolutely try Atlas out. If you're expecting Atlas to be something close to Sea of Thieves, do not buy the game. Do not buy Atlas if you want something that's got no bugs or issues. Wait it out and see how the full game releases or see if any future updates really get loads of praise. It's 10 months since Atlas more or less launched on PC. And look how many updates they've had, look how many versions they've put out there trying to fix the game, improve it and put content into it. Over 90 updates in a year. You could argue they definitely launched the game too soon. If they'd managed to get hold of some of these issues and problems, maybe half of them before launching it on Steam, I think it would have met with a much more positive reception. They for sure launched it way too soon and it was pretty much a alpha version of a game rather than something to put into early access. But there's no denying the content they've put into it in that time shows me they're trying their hardest. I was a little bit worried about recently their decision to get a brand new lead developer of the game who happens to be pretty inexperienced. That to me says that maybe they're moving other people onto other projects. But it also might mean that they're really willing to give someone a shout who's got fresh ideas. So hopefully that's going to be proven right and I could be totally wrong. Atlas still might be absolute poo for a lot of people when it finally launches out of early access as a full game. But for right now, I am pretty much looking forward to playing this. I like the new building system, I like making and designing ships, and I like the real in-depth stuff with the resources and the gathering. There's just so much more to do with that side of things, it really appeals to me more than just simply going and taming dinosaurs. So in defense of Atlas, that's what I have to say. Expect to see some content on it for sure. Expect to give you expect me to give you information on the updates and what's going on. And finally, come and join my server. I'm setting it up today, I've got the code running. It's only 32 slots at the moment, but if we get a lot of people that want to play, we can increase it. It is going to be the Blackwood server map. 
So it's not going to be the full experience of Atlas. You're not going to be able to go and travel over every single island in hundreds and hundreds of grids. But I'm looking forward to trying something a bit different with Blackwood. We are going to have PvP windows too. So come and join my Discord. That's where we'll be posting information later on today about the password and how you can get access. It's free for everyone. I never have game servers that are only for patrons or supporters, but patrons and supporters do get some goodies. And make sure you go and check me out on Mixer. Very soon, that's going to be the only place that I actually stream. Still doing daily videos, one, two, at least on YouTube every day, covering all the games that I normally do. But in the future, I will only be streaming on Mixer. So if you want to see Atlas content, make sure you go and give me a follow on the platform there. And come and join my server if you want to play something a little bit less hectic than full PvP, but still have something to aim towards. And I promise in future, the patch note videos will be much shorter and they won't be me just promoting myself or just be me white knighting. Until next time, Ratbags, I will see you later.